I've had my show usurped already, alright, so I'm taking the fucking reins from here, okay? I'm going to turn around, throw something over my shoulder, whoever catches it is the person to come up and assist here. So just brace yourselves. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'll do it over on my top. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to carry on in this carnival-like atmosphere by pounding this, uh, this four and a half inch nail into my face. Keep it down. Fuck you guys are good. Alright, this is the nail in the face. You know this one. You know this one fella, the nail in the face? It's fun for you and your whole family. The nail in the face. Now in France, oh, you like this one? I thought someone said something. Who said, who said something? Nobody. Oh, I'm, I'm just going crazy. That's not a drunk twat. Um, but no, this is the, you, you, the nail in the face. You, it's, it's critical. I mean, it's very important that you people know this is a, it's a four and a half inch nail. It's a four and a half inch nail. Yes, it is. It is a four and a half inch. That's why it's going to have a nine divided by two. It's a four and a half inch. She just keeps winking at me. Nail. The nail in the face. Here it comes. Don't try and stop me. I'm a mad fucker. I'll... I'll be honest, I've not done this before. So if it goes wrong, just remember three things, right? Nine, nine, nine. Nine, nine, nine! Turn this up, they're not getting all these. Alright, so I'm tossing out gold dust. To begin with little taps, to start with little taps, and I'll build up to the harder ones. It's it. <laughs> it's it. How about we come down there and fucking hit it, dickhead, alright? A little homemade lobotomy, two taps, you'll be dribbling from both ends, alright? <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh. God, that really hurts. <laughs> but then again, it's a nail in my face, so it's, uh, it would. Those of you people that are sitting towards the front, you might be able to see the teeth marks in that. That's like I bite my nails. <laughs> my nails. Definitely up a little bit. Alright, here we go. What, you fuckers see the shit every day or something? There's no clap for Peter, there's amazing trick. Oh, there is! It builds! It's organic! That's no sit down, fellas! No sit, that's too much, I'll push. No. What's your name, sunshine, with a stripy top? Riley, Riley, if I sneezed right now, I could fucking kill you. But Riley, I'm not gonna do that because uh, we're all friends here. So in for a penny, in for a pound, we're gonna take it to the bridge. <laughs> it's a this disgusting. Now look, here we go. do is I'll tap this in and I'll wander around town for a laugh. You know, for my own shits and giggles, right? My favourite thing to do is I'll whack it in and I'll go into a boots, right? You guys know boots the chemist, right? So I whack it in and I walk in with it in, into the boots, and I get the lady's attention at the pharmacy counter, you know. Hello, excuse me. I'm not sure you can help. I, uh, I've got a really sharp pain in my face. Uh, what do you recommend? A pair of fucking pliers, dickhead. Now, good friends, here we clap and we're close second to the nail in the face. Is the nail out of the face? Now, in France, in France, they call this the nail sorti la face. Alright? So here we are. Any non free speakers in tonight? Here we go. I'm going to use the hammer sign, I'm going to use the claw sign, the flip flop to claw it out. Chicken. Uh, magic. Magic. Yeah, this shit can happen at any time. Magic. Watch the tape. Magic. I've got a roll of tape. Magic. Observe the tape. Magic. One piece of tape. Magic. Watch the tape. Magic. Two pieces of tape. Magic. Watch two pieces of tape. Magic. One piece of tape. doing tricks of that caliber, people, uh, they come up to me after a solo show like this and they'll say, you know what, Pete, doing tricks like that, I bet you get pretty lucky with the ladies. Well, I'm not going to lie to you, there, uh, there has been the other one or two. Well, two. Um, and they were odd. Um, in fact, one, could, it could have been a fella. Um, it was a fella. But uh, on the upside, he bought his own drinks, so it swings and roundabouts, really, you know, when you think about it. And it's good to see you again, Riley. Thanks very much for coming down. Couldn't see you back in men's clothes, that's healthy.
Jones. Ali up! Oh, very high. Bit of hang time. Coming down. Oh. Ha! There it is! That's all that was! That was just a finger. That's all that was. Some of these are just for me. I'm fucking storming it in my head. Seriously. We're going to segue seamlessly into the next misery. mystery. It's the world famous. Vanishing candle trick. I'd urge everybody to watch the candle. Please don't take your eyes off said candle. I'm going to cover the candle with this here. This is actually the ancient Chinese Indian shroud of Pakistan. <laughs> and I cover the candle thus, and I wave my hand, and that creates a mystical shadow. And that causes the candle to transform into a beautiful bouquet of flowers. Now look at that, be honest. That is like poetry. Shit poetry. Carpet down there, dickhead. Get the rider. I'm the man, that's right. Well, uh, how else? Fucking magic. <laughs> that's... Anyone in tonight believe in mind reading as an idea, as a concept, as a notion? He does. You definitely do. And is that based on a personal experience? Have you read someone's mind or had your mind read? Oh, no, I, I'm, I'm a skeptic. I, no, I, I'm not into that shit, but you said that you believe in it. Sorry? Oh, okay. Oh, this is some reverse psychology bullshit, right? <laughs> is this that NLP thing I've been reading about? Because that sounds like it's the, that's the zeitgeist, right? We're all into that muscle reading and, and you know, physical, so you, you, don't, you don't believe in it. You've burned a lot of bomb pony tonight. Are you stalking me? This is <laughs> peculiar and a little bit awkward now, I'll be honest with you, sir. When you first piped up, I was curious, now I'm just afraid. Um, but I'm a skeptic. I used to be a member of the Skeptic Society. Of course, you can't call it that these days. Now it's uh, Scorp. But, um. <laughs> spastics. But, um. You know, psychics, they use crystals to harness their visions, right? Like crystal meth. But I'm prepared. Because this is a bar mitzvah to be proven wrong. Now, earlier today, I had, I had, a, I had a premonition. Uh, but I cleaned myself up and I came with a gig. <laughs> I cleaned myself. Oh, I lost the one to live. Now, look. I wrote down a prediction, it's, it's been in the sack magie the whole time. A fella here with a blue t-shirt, what's your first name? Mike, Mike, I want you to take this seriously, because fuck it, it might work, right? Before we begin, though, tell the truth. Do you have any idea what's on the other side of the card? No. Fuck me, there it is. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Shit, the bed. This kid's dynamite. Let me just pinch myself. No, that actually happened. Wow. I know that's bollocks, by the way. That's just an icebreaker for him and I, because we've never met before, right? But this is the real thing I want you to do. I want you to think about an animal, all right? Think about any animal. My only caveat, my only stipulation is that this animal must have four legs, so concentrate on any animal that has four legs and lock it in your mind. You got it in there? Throw away the key. Stick with that one. Do not change your mind. Happy? Name it out loud. A cat! Fuck me. A cat. There it is. Look at that. A cat! Heather, one of my nipples just got hard there. You feeling that? Of course you are. You're only human. Really? Okay. Um, it's nice to come out and feel a little bit of love. What? Oh, they're talking about it? Yeah, because it could have been any animal. That's the way that humour works. Um, just a little dissertation over there on the, the gag, which is nice. No, it's good because I, I, I've been having a rough time recently. I was in a relationship which terminated! Not my fault, she was fucking crackers, right? But we were together for three years, right? And then one day, boom, all over. And now that time together, she's in three cardboard boxes. Because I couldn't get her into one. But, um... <laughs> But this is the first love note that she ever wrote me, and it's really quite sweet, and I just want to do a quick trip with it now if I'm here. Because it is such a shame when a relationship breaks in half. You know, you begin to wonder what it was that you got together for. Heather? For. Okay, you get it. You know you were marrying procre eight. This fucking kills them in Middlesbrough, by the way. This fucking slayer on their asses at this point. They're good with the low numbers. Procre eight. So then your heart breaks. In exactly 16 places. <laughs> Come on. Please fucking come on. Now look! <laughs> Thank you. Too little too late, alright? Now do you think a relationship that's been broken can then perhaps perchance be mended? Please observe. Not when she fucks your best friend. No. No, 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 no. 